Good morning, my friends. It is Monday, September 21st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. And I have my little cat who looks like she's just finishing her breakfast and making her way to other things. And I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus and Mary and the baby. We continue in the incredible book of Esther and the plot thickens today. The king has a high minister, very high up in the court and he has a great name, Haman, son of Hamadatha the Agagite. <laughs> Haman, son of Hamadatha the Agagite. The people of Agag were known as enemies of Israel. So anyone who knew Jewish history would know that this was an enemy from the beginning. Haman uh, is a very bad man and very egotistical, and he enjoys having everyone bow down to him. Now Esther's uncle Mordecai is a Jew, and as such, he will not bow down to any flesh and blood. So when Haman walks by, Mordecai won't bow. And Haman doesn't like this. He discovers that Mordecai is a Jew, and so he goes to the king. Now, this time, by this time, Esther has been queen for five years, so she has, you know, hung in there for a while. Haman goes to the king and says, I think you should wipe out this whole population because they're not really loyal to you and because they follow different rules. And the king, who seems kind of oblivious, <laughs> dumb, says, okay, let's wipe out a whole portion of my population. And he sends out a decree to different parts of the land. Well, Mordecai gets the news and he tears his clothes and starts grieving, puts ashes on his head. And he sends a message to Esther. Maybe you have become queen for such a time as this, he says. He asks us, to risk her life by going into the king's chamber without an invitation. If the king holds out his scepter to her, she will live. But if he decides he doesn't like that she's interrupted his sleep, he can just have her killed. She's afraid. But again, Mordecai says, maybe this is why you have come into this position to save your people. And she says, but I haven't been in to see the king in 30 days. Now remember, this king, um, sex is very important to him. And if she hasn't been in in 30 days, not a good sign. And he may get annoyed if she comes in. So the risk is even greater. But she decides that maybe Mordecai is right. Maybe this is why she was born. Maybe this is why she was chosen as queen and she makes a plan. It's often difficult for us to figure out why we were born. There are many reasons. God takes delight in us. But there are times in our lives when we may be challenged to do something difficult. When God get, may give us an opportunity to help others in a certain way that takes courage and tenacity and maybe this pandemic is such a time, maybe we were born. What if you and I were born in order to live through this, in order to do something in this time to help others? If God is asking you to take this time and utilize it to help someone, who would it be and what would you be doing? It's hard for us to believe that God might form us and shape us with a purpose in mind, especially a difficult purpose, something hard to do but it may very well be that we're called to be Christ's hands and feet and voice and ears in this time. What do you think you're being asked to do in this particular time, in this pandemic? What could you do to save your people? Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the courage of Esther who agrees to risk her life to save her people. Give us also courage to face 
the dark days ahead and to help others and not just be concerned with our own well-being. Help us to know that our lives are full of purpose, that you made us for a reason and help us to seek out and find that purpose and fulfill it. I ask you to bless all those who are alone, all those who are struggling today, lonely, those who are sick, those who are dying. Bless all who are working hard. Bless those who have no work. Bless those affected by natural disaster all over this globe and particularly in this country, the victims of fire and flooding and storms. Lord, bring an end to this pandemic, but in the meantime, help us find our roles and our purpose in this time so that like Esther, we may do our part. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.